Welcome back to the Rock and Chuck Rugby Channel. Uh, today I just want to chat a bit about the Irish. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, myself and um, Rock we we spoke about you know the Irish, and they're not really that good. And then um, we had a few of the Irish leprechauns popping up in our comments, and so um, we we sort of left it. We we lost the game, so we sort of had a had a bit of a saw in us, but now we're back. You know, the box are through. So I just want to talk a bit on the Irish, and then you can just have a look at the comments. So I, I never rated the Irish that highly, you know. I always thought of them as an elephant on top of a tree, you know. No one knows how they got um, um, on the top, but we know they will eventually fall down over, and, you know, that's what happened against the All Blacks, they fell really hard and it really um, hurt their little fragile egos that they did have because they, they were getting a bit, uh, bit over themselves. And, you know, this Irish team is like every other Irish team, you know, can't make it past the, the quarterfinals. So, yeah, I hope the Irish um, had a good uh, flight home. I hope they recover well. And um, look forward to the URC because I know they know they know threat there. I mean, this this Irish team is we we could see it coming. You know, you have Leinster who who walk the walk the league walk the league, and then when it comes to that crunch moments in the knockouts, they 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 can't really do it. Eh? They obviously Munster did manage to win the final in Cape Town, but I mean we we had a few South Africans in that team. You know, that's the only reason they, they managed to, to pull through. So, yeah, the Irish should, uh, yeah, tails between your legs. Um, that number one meant nothing, you know, meant nothing. It's still, still like every other bang average Irish team. So, yeah, please go cry in your corner.